Hi team, it's Holly at Ascend Heart Yoga. Um, I'm really missing teaching you all, um, but I'm hoping that you're enjoying the videos that Leah and the team are putting on for you. Um, so today in this video, I'm going to bring you quite a gentle flow. So similar to what I would usually do on your Sunday morning 9am class at Ascend. Um, but if there's anything that becomes too much for you or not enough, just come to whatever variation or modification that you know and that feels good for you and your body. Uh, so let's get started. We're just going to start in a comfortable seated position. Sit yourself upon a block or a pillow, whatever feels good for you. And just start to settle into the body. Close down the eyes. Just slowing down. Finding stillness. Get rid of any kind of fidgets that you need to make. Placing the hands down on the knees, either palms facing down for that grounding sensation or palms facing up for receiving. Take a deep breath in through the nose and a long breath out through the mouth. And just with each breath now, with each exhalation, just allow yourself to just melt and sink deeper. Maybe allowing that tension to just melt away in the shoulders, in the jaw. Just finding ease in the body. And start to draw that breath deep from the belly. So allow the breath to start from the belly on the inhale and allow it to rise all the way up into the chest. And as you exhale, just let everything sink back down. Sometimes when we're feeling anxious and stressed, we can hold that tension up in the chest area and start to breathe in a shallow way, which can bring that physical tension into the body. So trying to breathe nice and deep. Using the full capacity of the lungs and the breathing muscles. Taking one more deep breath in, parting the lips and let it go. Nice. And just knowing that we do hold emotions in the heart center, in the heart chakra, but just realizing that our emotions are not us, they are temporary, they're just visiting. So feelings of anxiety may be at the moment in this time. Temporary, it's just coming to visit. It's not permanent. So just allow yourself to feel these emotions without judgment. Let yourself be. Start to bring the palms together, rub the hands together as fast as you can, creating that friction between the palms, that energy. And then gently placing the palms over the eyelids, feeling that energy pulsating around the palms, maybe radiating onto the eyelids. And gently start to blink open the eyes, release the hands down, soften the gaze. 
Okay, let's start to move. So we're going to come on to our tabletop position to start with. Spread the fingers nice and wide, making sure everything's stacked here, shoulders and elbows above the, no, <laughs> shoulders and elbows above the wrists, hips above the knees, and slightly draw that navel into spine. On your inhale, drop the belly down, start to open the chest, gaze up. Exhale, push the mat away, round into the shoulders and the upper spine, tuck the tailbone. Inhale, drop the belly, open the chest. Exhale, round the spine. Two more like this, inhale. Exhale. Breathing in. And breathing out. This time come to neutral spine and extend the left leg out behind you. Push the heel away. Navel draws into spine. Inhale here. And exhale, bend the knee. Bring the knee in towards the chest and round the spine. Inhale, send that leg back. Extend. And exhale, crunch it in. One more, inhale and exhale this time on the inhale extend that leg out behind you and then externally rotate at the hip we're going to send this leg out to the left side place the sole of the foot down onto the mat so that the toes are pointing forward on your next inhale sweep the arms all the way up we're preparing for parigasana gate pose so I'll come side on so you can see. Inhale in here. And on your exhale, bring that left hand down to the left leg and sweep the right arm up. Send the right, the left shoulder forward, the right shoulder back, and gazing up to the sky. Feeling that nice, that space start to be created in the right side. Inhale, come back through center. And exhale, this time place the right hand down to the right side. Sweep this left arm up to the sky, or if you want a little bit more sensation in that left side of the body, send the left hand up and overhead, gazing up if comfortable. And just feeling that one line of energy now from that left heel all the way up to the left fingertips, palm facing down. One more breath. Now on your exhale, we're going to start to bring the hips down to seated here. So the right knee is bending in, left leg is out long. And then we're going to come to Adho Matsya Andrasana. So we're crossing this left leg. I will face the right way again. Cross this left leg over the right. This may well be a bit too much for you, so you can keep, you can start to extend the right leg out long and use this version instead of the twist. Or we're here in our Adamatsu Andrasana with the right heel tucked in, the left sole of the foot down to the mat. Bring the left hand behind the sit bones. Inhale, sweep the right arm all the way up. Find that lift and that length. On your exhale, twisting to the left and bring that right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Broadening through the collarbones here. Slightly draw a navel to spine. Breathing in, lengthen. Breathing out, finding a little bit more twist, coming to a mudra with the hands if you wish. Inhale, and on your exhale, unravel that twist. We're going to reverse the entire thing. So send the left leg out to the side, toes pointing forward. The right hand comes down to the right side, and on your inhale, sweep this left arm up. Send the hips up. And we're going to find our way all the way back up. Sweep the arms up on an inhale 
And on your exhale, place the hands back down to the mat. Come back to your tabletop position. Maybe shimmy back if you have travelled forward like I have. So this time the right leg, I don't like to start off with the left, I usually start with the right. Um, but whichever leg you haven't done, will be that one. Inhale, extend the right leg out behind you, push the heel away. And exhale, bend the knee, bring the knee in towards the nose, push the mat away, really round through the upper spine. Inhale, send it back. Exhale, round the spine. One more, inhale. And exhale. On this inhale, send the leg back. And then bring that right leg out to the side, toes point forward, the sole of the foot down to the earth. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. And on your exhale, right hand comes down to that right leg. Sweep the left arm up and over, gazing up. This time feeling that space in the left side, in the left ribs. Inhale, come back through centre, sweep the right arm up. And exhale, place the left hand down to the left. And then either keep this right arm up or sweep it over. Pivot the little finger down so that the palm is facing you down. Inhale, and on your exhale, start to sink the hips down, come to a seated position so that this left traveling off my mat here, so the left heel is uh, plugging in, and then cross this right foot over. The right leg crosses over the left, or come into any other variation. Right hand behind the sit bones on the inhale, sweep left arm up. And exhale, twist. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist a little deeper, maybe. Coming back through centre and reversing the entire thing. So extend the right leg out, toes point forward, and lift, bring the left hand down to the left side and sweep the right arm up, lift the hips. And then find your way all the way back up, sweep the arms up on an inhale. Exhale, place the hands down, find yourself back into a tabletop position. Start to tuck the toes under, inhale here, Exhale, lift the knees, send the hips back and up into space. Gaze back towards the legs and the feet. Knees can be nice and bent, remember. We're just finding some space and some length in the arms, the upper body, the spine. Find some movement if you need it. Really press down through all the fingers and reach that tailbone up to the sky. Breathe. And your next inhale goes forward. Exhale, bend the knees and step to the top of your mat. Bring the feet behind the wrists. Inhale, find heart, lift, lengthen the spine. And exhale, fold Uttanasana. Inhale, lift, half lift. Exhale, fall deeper. One more, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, press down through the feet to rise all the way up, sweep the arms up. Palms together and gaze up to the thumbs. Exhale, hands to heart center. Really nice. We'll do just one little round of Surya Namaskara A. Some citation A. Taking any kind of modifications that you want to take. 
Starting in Tadasana Mountain Pose. Feel the earth beneath the feet. On your inhale, sweep the arms up. Nice long exhale, hinge at the hips, send the chest forward and fold. Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, plant a hand, step back to your plank. Inhale, shift the shoulders over the elbows and the wrists. Exhale, lower the knees, the chest and the chin. Eight point pose. Inhale, drop the belly, peel the chest forward, Bhujangasana. Exhale, push back and up, downward facing dog. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, bend the knees and step or jump to the top of the mat. Inhale, straight to your half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. On the exhale, step the left foot back, lower the back knee. Inhale, sweep the arms up, and Janiyasana. And exhale, send the hips forward, open the chest. Inhale. On your exhale, frame the foot with the hands. I'm going to make some big circles with this right arm. So as you inhale, send the hands and the fingertips forward. As you exhale, send them to the back of the room. And bring your gaze to follow the hand. Inhale, send them forward. Exhale, take it back. One more, inhale. Exhale. On this next one, we're going to inhale, sweep it forward. And coming up with the arm, and bringing the right arm to the back leg and sweep the left arm up into a reverse low lunge. If this is too much and you can't quite bring the right hand to the back leg, just bring the hand to the hip. Two more breaths. Nice. And when you're ready, windmill the hands forward. We're going to find Skandasana now. So tuck the back toes and lift the back knee. Walk the hands to the inside of this right foot and walk them all the way over to the left side. Pivot the right toes in and then start to bend into that right knee. So either keeping the hands down to the mat and just going as low as you can or finding your full Skandasana, the sole of the foot down, left toes pointing up, bring the palms together so I'm not facing you. And open the chest. Two more breaths. Nice. Place the hands down onto the mat and start to send the hips all the way up. We'll come to Prasami to Padatanasana, our wide leg forward fold. So slightly pitch and toe the feet, the heels wider than the toes. Inhale, find half lift. And exhale, fold. Try to bring the hands, the fingertips in line with the toes. And try not to let the elbows just like flay out to the side. You want to squeeze them in. I know this is a really nice view. <laughs> Send a little bit more weight into the toes. So you can really lift the tailbone up. One more breath. Inhale, half lift, and exhale, walk the hands back to the top of the mat, pivot the toes forward, step the right foot back into your plank. Inhale here, exhale, lower down, knees, chin, chest, or chaturanga. Inhale, cobra, or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice, we'll just go on to the left side. Inhale, sweep the left leg up and back. And as you exhale, step that foot forward and lower the right knee. 
Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up and Janiasana. And exhale, send the hips down and forward, open the chest. One more breath in. And on your breath out, frame the foot with the hands. Making those big circles on the left side. So inhale, sweep the arm forward. Exhale, take it back. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. This time, inhale, sweep it forward. Bring the torso up. Send the left hand back, the right hand up to the sky. Finding our twist. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Windmill the hands forward to frame the foot. Finding our skandhasana on this side. So tuck the back toes, lift the back knee. Bring the hands to the inside of the left foot and walk the hands over to the right, pivoting the toes with you. So this time we are bending into the left. Yeah, bending into the left leg and length of the right leg out long. Bring the palms together. And remember, you can keep the hands on the floor or keep it quite lifted. Whatever feels best for you. One more breath. And then placing the hand down, lifting the hips up, readjusting the feet, heels wider than the toes. Inhale, find a half lift and come to any variation here of your prasarita. So you can bring the peace fingers and thumbs to the big toes if you wish and fold, or keep the hands down, keep the hands to the hips, or maybe interlacing the hands behind the back. Inhale, find the half lift. Exhale, folding down. Breathing deep. And on your next inhale, finding half lift. And exhale, walk the hands forward. Step the left foot back, inhale here. And exhale, lowering down, knees to chest or chaturanga. Inhale, up, facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice. Nice deep breaths. Feeling grounded here in our downward facing dog. Feeling the connection between the mat and the hands and the feet. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, bend the knees and step or jump to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to heart. Nice. Okay, keeping the hands in to the chest. Inhale, we'll start with going to ground down through the left foot and on your inhale bring that knee in towards the chest. Finding Virabhadrasana 3, Warrior 3. Inhale in here and exhale and pivot, not pivoting, hinging at the left hip and sending that right leg back. Really pushing the back heel away, sending the chest forward and the crown of the head forward. Really pressing down through that standing foot. Engaging through both legs. And then coming all the way back up, keeping that knee into the chest and then we'll find our Vrikshasana tree pose. So whichever option you would usually take here for tree, either the foot to the ankle, the inside of the calf, or up to the inner thigh. Pressing with the sole of the foot into the leg and the leg into the foot, finding those opposing forces. 
really rooting down through that left foot and send those hands up to the sky. Press that right knee out. One more breath. And exhale. Bring the right knee into the chest. Hands to heart centre and release down. Same on the right, left side, sorry. So ground down through the right foot. I'm going to inhale, bring that left knee into chest. Exhale, send the leg all the way back. Vinodrasana 3, push the heel away, one more breath, and then bend the standing leg, bring that knee in, hop around like me, and then coming straight into your tree, Brikshasana, Toes pointing down and press the sole of the foot into the leg, the leg into the foot, drawing that left knee out to the side. Inhale, bring those hands up and overhead, relax the shoulders. Feel the wobbles like a tree in the wind. And bring hands to heart centre, knee back into chest and release the feet down. Really nice. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, just step it back to your downward facing dog. From here, we're going to hop it through to your seated position. So inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, bend the knees, hop it through, crossing at the ankles, sit the bum down. Nice. Extend the legs out long, Paschimottanasana, engage the thighs. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hinge at the hips, send the tailbone back, the chest and the crown of the head forward. And just place the hands down wherever they get to. Don't chase anything. Don't be trying to hoist yourself forward. The aim here is the nice long spine. So if that means you're up here, that's great. Using the breath to come deeper into your pose. I like to picture the breath as a wave. So on the inhale, it starts at the lower back, waves all the way up, lengthening the spine. And on the exhale, you can sink deeper. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, come all the way back up. And we'll start to lie down on the back. Just let your spine rest on your mat. We're going to bring the right ankle to the left thigh, keeping that nice flex in the ankle. Bring the arms out to the sides in a nice big T shape or cactus the arms if you don't have the space. Inhale here. Maybe you can lift that left foot and bring the knees in. And as you exhale, let the legs drop over to the left side. Gaze over to the right thumb. And really anchor this right shoulder down into the mat. On your next inhale, 
come back into center. Exhale, release that right leg. Same on the other side. So flexing up the left ankle first and then place the ankle onto the right thigh or just above the knee. Inhale, pick up that right foot, squeeze and exhale. Let the legs fall over to the right. Maybe you need to readjust where the hips lie and gaze over to the left. This time, rooting and grounding down through the left shoulder. Then coming back through center on an inhale and exhale, release. Extend the legs out long. Get yourself comfortable for your Shavasana. Take as long as you like here, but just let everything just splash down onto the mat. Don't be kind of putting yourself in any particular way. Just like, just lie where you fall. Feeling super, super heavy in the arms and in the legs in the skull and in the pelvis. Let go of tension, let go of control. Nothing to do, nothing to control here. Remembering to breathe deep from the belly, draw that breath deep, deep, deep from the belly. Maybe you'd like to press pause on the video here and maybe put some relaxing music on and enjoy your Shavasana for the next five, ten minutes. But if not, we can start to find movement, bring movement back to fingers and toes, wrists and ankles. Taking anything the body needs here. Don't have to look a certain way. And just in your own time, with the eyes closed down, find your way back up to a comfortable seated position. Notice how the body feels. Notice if any emotions have arise or do you feel just completely at peace and completely calm? Remembering that emotions are just visitors. They may come back, they may come and go, but that's completely normal and just let it be. Bring the hands together in Anjali Mudra in the centre of the chest. Press the thumbs into the heart space. And then bringing the thumbs to the third eye centre. Slightly bow the head as a sign of gratitude. Things might not be the way we are used to at the moment, but remembering to Think of those things that we are still grateful for. And lots of gratitude for the practice of yoga and what it brings to our lives. Namaste. Thanks for practicing with me, guys. I hope to see you soon, whether that's on Facebook or Instagram or, um, but yeah, take care of yourselves, stay safe and keep practicing with us at Ascent.